So once you have graphics loaded into your library and you've created at least one playlist, now it's time to add players to your Zogo account. Now again, these can either be Zogo mini devices or your own Windows or Android device that's running our free Zogo player app. So to get started, again, we will just click on plus new on the right side in Zogo Manager. And now we're gonna be prompted to enter our player pin. Now this pin actually comes from the Zogo player app. On this machine, I'm running Zogo Player on the same desktop here as I'm running Zogo Manager. Typically, this would be on a separate machine or Zogo Player would be on your Zogo Mini. But let's go ahead and start up the Zogo Player app just so I can show you. All right, and now you're going to see the QR slash pin code screen. And I'm going to reduce the size of this and just move it to the right side over here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, now in the bottom right of Zogo Player, you're gonna see a four digit pin code. Now this is what we need to enter in Zogo Manager to tie the Zogo Player device, uh, again it can be a Zogo Mini or your own device, to your Zogo Manager account. Um, so you'll see I entered the pin code there, I named it Justin Demo Player, and now if this was a Zogo Mini device, we would click on Bluetooth Connect and if there was one sitting out here, um, then we would be able to enter a, a Wi-Fi SSID and password and push Wi-Fi settings to it over Bluetooth. Now again, in our case, we're just running the Zogo Player app on the same Windows machine here. So I can continue and choose a playlist to assign to it. I've just got the one demo playlist, so I will click on that. Now let's select a time zone. I'm going to set it to uh, US East Coast time. And now a few options. Now asset caching, you typically want this turned on and what it means is that your playlist will live on the hard drive of your machine. So even if you lose internet connectivity, it will continue to play. Um, playlist playback sync, that's for syncing more than one Zogo device if you want all your screens to be in sync. Schedule download means if you want to uh, schedule any new uh, new pushes of content or playlists to happen during off business hours. If we go into advanced, there is an option here to restart your Zogo Mini. And if you happen to be using NEC screens, we have some features built in around uh, analytics reporting on them as well. But let's go ahead and click save. And now what's gonna happen is our Zogo player is reaching out to the cloud and it sees that there is a new playlist to download. So it's gonna begin downloading the content. And this usually is gonna take two or three minutes depending on how big your playlist is um, how many videos and, and graphics you have in them, etc. And then what we're gonna see is our first graphic here, uh, the best deals on two wheels. This one's gonna play for 15 seconds like we have it set. Um, we're gonna see bike fuel play for 15 seconds. It's gonna skip over our hidden content, which we'll get to later. And then it's gonna continue on and play our 15 second long video. Now all of this content will continue to loop for you 24 seven, unless you interrupt it by sending a new playlist or by entering real time mode. 